Hello, Ronnie. How are you? Hello, teacher. How was your day, Ronnie? Uh, 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 well, up for afternoon. No. No. For morning. Okay. Uh, for in the in the in the war. Uh, administrativo. ¿Cómo se dice? Trabajo administrativo. Eh, administrativo. Administrator. Administrator. Mm -hmm. Entonces, uh, uh, in the in the war uh, ministry. Ministry, así verdad. Eh, administrative, eh, administrative, 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 no, ese es el verbo, administrative, Uh, and uh, for afternoon and visitor uh, agricultores era farmer farmer verdad Yes, yes, yes. You can say farmers. Uh, visitor, uh, a farmer, uh, in area so, uh, Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, next. Uh, I I gone I gone in the house and I I have uh, in the have dinner. Uh -huh. uh, Preparar, ¿cómo sería? Prepare. Prepare. Prepare and eggs. And crema. Prepare, prepare what? And prepare. ¿Cuál sería esa? No, ¿Qué quieres decir? Porque dijiste prepare. Prepare qué? Uh, prepare eggs, huevos. Eggs, prepare eggs. Eggs, prepare uh -huh. eggs. Uh, wind, uh, wind, uh, cream, 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 uh, and the and the coffee. In the coffee. Okay. Uh, eh, supervisar, ¿cómo sería? Supervise. Eh, in, the, in the supervise. En cultivo, ¿cómo me dijo, teacher, que se decía? Crops. Crop, ah, crop. Eh, in the super eh, crop. En... Peppers, peppers, pero sería chile dulce como pepper, chile, es pepper, pepper. Green peppers. Green, ah, ok, green peppers. Eh, y... Eh, 
y prepar y y prepar prepar eh, in green, the in the green pepper in the green pepper green pepper uh -huh. pero la palabra eh, luego como prepararme como dijo que se cómo se dice prepare prepare eh, in the in the paper for the eh, in the uh, class English. Ah, uh, okay. Uh -huh. well, uh, in the, in the, a, no, in the, in the nine, nine o'clock. At nine o'clock. At night, at nine At nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. O'clock. A night, a night o'clock. Correct, correct, Ronnie. Más o menos, más o menos, teacher, más o menos. Más o menos. Yo, 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 creo, yo, yo creo que eh, algo, 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 algo así tiene que ser la, para ir desprendiendo un poco la, la lengua, ¿va? Yes, Ronnie, yes, Ronnie. The important is que, vos no, te, el, que no te dé a, pena. A, aparte, Aparte del, del, del español, el inglés y, y masticamos un poquito también el francés en la mañana. ¿va? <laughs> exactly, Ronnie. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome, Ronnie. Good job. Good job. Juan, how was your day? Mm, very well. I ate four pupusas for my breakfast. And let me see, I, I work always. And how do you say I have a, Tuve una reunión, pero es I has, no es o oh, I have. I had. I had. I had. Ah, ok. I had, I had a, a little meeting with my boss. Um, Uh, only that. Okay, okay, good. Rene, how about you? How was your day? Teacher, question. Yes. Hi, teacher. And the question? Teacher. Yes. Eh, por ejemplo, cuando, cuando, se, cuando se, se dice, por ejemplo, de solo en el verbo have, ¿Está esa excepción o es en todos los verbos cuando se, bueno, cuando, cuando se conjuga con el verbo, con el verbo, bueno, ¿cómo, cómo decir? Con el verbo to be. Por ejemplo, en el, en el caso de, del, del have, del verbo have, cuando se dice, va, I, por ejemplo, I am have, yo tengo, ¿verdad? No. Por ejemplo, no. No. I no. have, I have. Correct, I have. I have, yes. I have. Perdón, perdón. Entonces, I have. Si sería, you have. Por ejemplo, he has. Uh -huh. Así, ¿verdad? Yes. He has. Correct. But, en el caso eh, que, que sea otro verbo, siempre tiene que ser así o solo es en el verbo have, la excepción, have. No, 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 siempre es en todos los verbos. En todos los verbos. Ah, ok, he, por, por ejemplo, si sería, it. por ejemplo, si, si sería el verbo dormir, sleep, ¿verdad? No. Correct. Va, sleep. Entonces, si sería, I sleep, yo duermo. Yes. Estamos bien, ¿verdad? Yes. 
Vale. Eh, Chi. Yo creo que, bueno, ahí creo que no, no hay cambio con ese. Ella duerme, ¿verdad? No. Él siempre. duerme. Todos. He, she, it, es. He, she, it, es. ¿Cómo, cómo? Perdón, perdón. Ahí, ahí, me, ahí, me, ahí me perdí, Tisha. Ok, ok, Ren. Ok, Ronnie. Siempre que es he, she, it, o sea, él, it. ella o eso, se le va a agregar una S al verbo. He, she, it. Oh. Se le va a agregar okay. S al verbo. Ok. Ok. Estamos, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, you well, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Ok. René. Hi, teacher. Hello, René. Um, my day is uh, I wake at the six o'clock. I, I, I prepare uh, I, bread, uh, breakfast for my breakfast. And I eat the eggs frites. Uh, I start in my work at the eight at the eight o'clock. Yeah, of work for uh, all 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 day of work at this moment. Okay, good, Rene. Good. Tenés la idea. Mira en el chat. Ahí te voy a ayudar para cómo decir las palabras en el pasado. Okay. Is I woke up. I ate. And I started. Okay. Okay, good. Victor, how was your day? It was fine. I got up late and I rest almost all day. At afternoon, I have a job interview. So after that, I came home and I take a dinner. I have a, I take a, take a, take a shower again and I get dressed and also I'm here in the class. Okay, good. Thank you, Victor. Victor, Look. the same in the conversation, in the chat, you see the verbs in the past, verbs in the past. Okay. I got dressed, I rested, I had dinner and I took a shower. Yes. The verbs in the past. The verbs in the past. The verbs in the past, Victor. Exactly, exactly. Jose, Jose, how are you? Uh, uh, good evening. I am tired. Okay. What did you do today, yeah. Jose? Mm -hmm. uh, Ahí sí tengo problema yo con los con los con los verbos. No te porque preocupes, vos casi no like, te pongo los verbos. Lo importante este, es agarrar la fluidez, vos dale. Bueno, my day starts at five o'clock a.m. Uh, uh, shower, uh, uh, a breakfast, uh, a travel at work at uh, seven thirty. I am. Uh, all day uh, delivery uh, messenger in motorcycle uh, here in, in class English excellent Jose excellent in the chat you see in the chat the verbs in the past Okay. Started. Uh -huh. No se dice uh -huh. I am, se dice uh -huh. AM. 
AM. AM. Mm -hmm. Is I took a shower. Took a shower. And I traveled to work. Okay. okay. Viajé sería. Perdón, José. Viajé a mi trabajo, así sería. Viajé a mi trabajo, I traveled to work. Ah. Y el otro sería, me bañé. <laughs> I correct. Exactly. Oh, okay. Sí, estoy perdido. Good. Okay. Así Thank ya you. vamos practicando. No tengan pena. Ustedes digan y, y ya todos los días estar diciendo los verbos se les va a ir quedando. Okay. Okay. Hey, Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Today we're going to continue the activity from yesterday. Okay. Yesterday we were reading 5.13. Okay, so yesterday we had the story. Do you remember the different races? Today with the partner, we are going to read and answer, which is the correct place with the partners, okay? What is the place, the distance, and the winning time for each one, okay? This is 5.14, 5.14, okay? Simplemente es un repaso, lectura, comprensión, places, ¿qué significaba places? Juegos. Lugares. Lugares. Saludos, lugares. Lugares. Ubicaciones. Exacto, ubicaciones. Distance. Distancia. Distancia, muy bien. Y winning times? Tiempos o años, ¿cómo sería? El tiempo, el tiempo en que ganó. O sea, que en cuánto oh, tiempo okay. lo logró. Exacto, winning times. Ok. So, with the partner, you read y contesten por cada uno de los, de, de, de los párrafos que están. You ready? Yep. Yes. Okay. Ronnie y Ana, ¿se pueden conectar? Ana. Eh, sí, dicha. No se pudo conectar, Ana. Es que ese es el problema que me saca. Me conecta y me vuelve a sacar. Es que acá falla el internet. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Le voy a intentar mandar. Ah, tengo un... problema. No hay problema, Ana. Ya le voy a intentar mandar a otro grupo, ¿ok? Ok.
Okay, you ready to check? Yes, ready. Okay, let's take a look. In number two, what is the place? From Irving, Carolina. Okay, good. Remember, California. California to Savannah, Georgia. Correct, good. From Irving, California. What is the oh, okay, okay. what the distance? Uh, number one, two thousand nine hundred miles, okay. or thousand six hundred seventy seven kilometers. Sixty seven. Sixty sixty seven. Good. And what is the winning time? Uh, number two, eight to 10 days. Okay, good. Number three, Down River Race. What is the place? Arkansas River. And what is the distance? Twenty five point seven miles. For 25.7. And what are the winning times? Two hours. Two hours. Okay, good. Number four, the Iditarod sled dog race. What was the place? Alaska. Okay, Alaska. Alaska. And the distance? Number one three, thousand one hundred feet miles two hundred. Correct. Number three, one thousand one hundred fifty. In one thousand. One thousand. Mm -hmm. One thousand one hundred fifty, or miles, or one thousand. Mm -hmm. Eight hundred. 50 kilometers. One, 
Okay. And now here, the winning times. What are the winning times? Eight to 10 days. 100. Eight to 10 days. 100. Eight to 12 days. Mm, look here, how many days? Cuántos días? How many days? Eight to ten days. Okay, let's check. Eight to ten days. Eight to twelve days. Nine. Uh, okay. Here. One Nine thousand. Nine to twelve days. Nine to twelve days was the correct answer. Mm -hmm. One thousand. One thousand one hundred and fifty. You see, Alaska. How many? Two hours and the other ones? All correct. Very good. Okay. Any questions? Mm -hmm. No questions. No questions. Okay. I'm going to explain the exam a little bit. Okay. Le voy a explicar un poquito el examen para que no se vayan a confundir y sacar malas respuestas. Okay. In the listening, part A, listening, es un poquito diferente. Van a escribir el número, no van a poner el número one through four. ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? Van a escuchar cuatro conversaciones. Y las cuatro conversaciones tienen que identificar qué casa o apartamento están describiendo. ¿okay? Entonces, si ustedes escuchan la conversación y creen que la número dos es la primera conversación, no van a escribir el número, ¿ok? No van a escribir one, van a escribirlo con letras, one, ¿ok? If you think it's number two, you put two. If you think it's three, you put three. If you think it's four, you put four, ¿ok? Lo van a escribir en letras la conversación. Entonces van a escuchar Y de acuerdo al que creen que se pega con, entonces, conversation one. Tienen que escuchar, ah, ok, yo creo que va con este. Perfecto, con este le voy a poner one, pero no en uno. No lo voy a poner en número, sino que en palabras, en letras, one. It's okay, part A? Sure. Sí, está claro cómo lo van a hacer. Clear. Yes, yes. Okay, good. Part B es una conversación, como pueden ver. Y esta conversación solo van a tener que elegir entre some or any. Some or any. Esto lo pueden verificar en la unidad 1. Unidad 1 que vieron era la diferencia entre some y any. ¿Y cuál van a usar? Ahí van a decidir some or any. Ok. En C... You read and select is correct or not correct. Van a leer y ver la oración. ¿Está correcta o no está correcta como está escrito esa oración? Y solo van a tener que elegir correct or incorrect. Okay. Letter D. Ah, aquí es donde tienen que mostrar que sí saben qué significa cada pregunta. ¿Qué, qué es lo que significa who? Where, when, ¿cómo lo van a hacer? Lo van a mostrar aquí, eligiendo qué, a qué se refiere who, a qué se refiere which, a qué se refiere what, ¿ok? Y when, ahí van a estar y tienen que elegir a cuál están hablando. Letter E, simplemente es el uso de can and can't. Ability, yes, and ability, no. 
only puts can or can. Aquí tengan cuidado porque muchas veces sucede que la gente los saca mal, pero porque los escribió con tilde y no con apostrophe. Se parecen, ¿ok? Así que tengan cuidado con el apostrophe. No vayan a poner can't, pero con tilde, porque se lo va a marcar mal. Y después lo van a corregir, le van a poner can y van a decir, hey, pero me sigue sal saliendo mal. No, sino que tienen que usar el, la tilde. Si no saben cuál es la tilde, perdón, no saben cuál es la apostrophe en su computadora, simplemente la otra solución es copy and paste para que así estén seguros que están usando la correcta. Ok. Y el último, simplemente tienen que asegurar que las dos palabras son las adecuadas para los dos espacios. Puede ser que sea do, pero ¿cuál de estos dos? Porque el segundo también tiene que ser correcto. Lives o live. O lo mismo con does, ok, y live. Entonces tienen que elegir las dos respuestas que corresponden para esa frase, pregunta, oración. ¿Es ok? Any questions? No questions. Okay. No, all's good. Ok, good. Ahora vamos a ir con el compañero y vamos a empezar para que no estemos el fin de semana preocupados. Ey, que, mire, como, ey, ¿y qué, qué era esta? ¿Qué era esta? No, ahorita con el compañero, la compañera van a empezar con el audio, la sección A que es la que más cuesta, porque muchas veces lo tienen que escuchar varias veces. Identifiquen conversación 1, 2, 3, 4, a qué imagen se refiere. Acuérdense de escribirlo en letras, no en números. ¿Quién okay. Let's try. Ok. Ana, ¿cómo está tu internet? ¿Crees que te vas a poder unir? Sí, me puedo reunir. Ok. All right. Let's try. Si es necesario, escuche más de una vez. Page 45, exercise four, listening. It has just one room. Listen to four people describe their homes. Number the pictures from one to four. One. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. 2. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. 3. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of an interesting old building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. 4. My family and I live in an old white house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a big yard. We like it a lot.
Page 45. Exercise 4. Listening. It has just one room. Listen to four people describe their homes. Number the pictures from one to four. One. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. 2. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. 3. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of an interesting old building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. 4. My family and I live in an old white house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a big yard. We like it a lot. Hi everyone, in this class you'll read an article about four unique American races. You'll also develop skills in reading for specific information. Race the U.S. Climb the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building in the Empire State Building run-up. The climb is 1,050 feet, 320 meters, 86 floors, or 1,575 steps. Winners can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. Can you? Take eight or 10 days to race across America, from Irvine, California, to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire U.S. in this 2,900-mile, 4,667-kilometer bicycle race. In this race, there are no timeouts for sleep. For eight to 10 days, racers can sleep only about three hours each day. Race on the exciting white waters of the Arkansas River in the Downriver Race. Winners complete the 25.7 miles, 41.5 kilometers, in just two hours. 
This is the longest downriver race in the U.S. One person, one boat, take the challenge. Only possible in Alaska, the Iditarod Sled Dog Race. Race from downtown Anchorage to Nome, over 1,150 miles, 1,850 kilometers, through cold, wind, and snow. Winners usually finish the course in 9 to 12 days and receive cash prizes. Hi everyone. In this class you'll read an article about four unique American races. You'll also develop skills in reading for specific information. Race the U.S. Climb the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building in the Empire State Building run-up. The climb is 1,050 feet, 320 meters, 86 floors, or 1,575 steps. Winners can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. Can you? Take 8 or 10 days to race across America from Irvine, California to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire U.S. in this 2,900-mile, 4,667-kilometer bicycle race. In this race, there are no timeouts for sleep. For 8 to 10 days, racers can sleep only about 3 hours each day. Race on the exciting white waters of the Arkansas River in the Downriver Race. Winners complete the 25.7 miles, 41.5 kilometers, in just two hours. This is the longest downriver race in the U.S. One person, one boat, take the challenge. Only possible in Alaska, the Iditarod Sled Dog Race. Race from downtown Anchorage to Nome, over 1,150 miles. 1,850 kilometers through cold, wind, and snow. Winners usually finish the course in 9 to 12 days and receive cash prizes. Hi everyone. In this class you'll read an article about four unique American races. You'll also develop skills in reading for specific information. Race the U.S. Climb the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building in the Empire State Building run-up. The climb is 1,050 feet, 320 meters, 86 floors, or 1,575 steps. Winners can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. Can you? Take 8 or 10 days to race across America from Irvine, California to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire U.S. in this 2,900-mile, 4,667-kilometer bicycle race. In this race, there are no timeouts for sleep. For 8 to 10 days, racers can sleep only about 3 hours each day. Race on the exciting white waters of the Arkansas River in the Downriver Race. Winners complete the 25.7 miles, 41.5 kilometers, in just 2 hours. This is the longest Downriver Race in the U.S. One person, one boat, take the challenge. Only possible in Alaska, the Iditarod Sled Dog Race. Race from downtown Anchorage to Nome, over 1,150 miles, 1,850 kilometers, through cold, wind, and snow. Winners usually finish the course in 9 to 12 days and receive cash prizes.
Okay, let's try, let's check. Picture number one, picture number one. What is the conversation? What number? Oh. What number? Three. Three, okay, good. Picture number two. Four. Four. Good. Picture number three. Two. 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 And the last one? One. 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 Excellent. Very good job. Good listening. Very good listening. Okay. What about here? Incomplete the conversation. Okay. What was number one? Let's have, we need uh, Amanda. Hang on. We need, yes, we need one Adam and one Amanda. Only those two. Who is Amanda? Who is Adam? <clears throat> Okay, I, I will be Adam. Okay, Victor is Adam. And who is Amanda? Okay, I will be Amanda. Okay, good. Let's try. Well, we have a lot of tomatoes. Let's make some. Okay, do we have... Excuse me. Okay. Do we have any lemon? No. We need to buy some. We need some lecture too. Lettuce. Lettuce? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't want any lettuce. I hate lettuce. Then let's get some olive. No, I don't want any olives in my fresh salad. Repeat ah. again, Victor. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, okay. it's, Alan, Alan is two times. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. But let's put some cucumber in it. Okay. Cucumber. And let's see. Hey, hey, very good. These are the correct. Very good. Remember, some for positive sentence, any for questions or negative sentences. Okay, thanks. Okay, good. Any questions? No. No questions. All right, let's check letter C. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's see. Number one, uh, Jose. Number two is going to be Juan. Number three, Rene. Los más desaparecieron, huh? Okay, so number four, Victor, and number five, Ronnie. You read the sentence and select correct or incorrect. <coughs> it's me. Yes. Uh, uh, number one, incorrect. Okay, and read the sentence. ¿Cómo debería de ser? O lee como está aquí. Ah, ah, perdón. Number one, never I play soccer on weekend. Incorrect, right? Sí. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Number two. They usually study English at night, correct? Number three. <clears throat> it's number three. I don't remember. I think it was. 
I think number three was was one. No. Okay, me. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she feels very tired. Correct. Okay. Number four. Ronnie, it's me. He often calls her in the morning. It is correct. And number five. You you listen to me hardly ever incorrect. Okay, let's see. Very nice, very nice. All of those are correct answers. Okay. Any questions? No, no any. Okay, very good, very good. Lograron llegar hasta la D? Sure, yes. Okay, let's check it. What is who? Who is for? People. 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 Good. Where? Where is for? Place. 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 Good place. When is for? Time. For time. Which is for? For choice. 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 And what is for? <clears throat> Thing and objects. Oh, excellent job. All the answers are correct. Okay, very good. Okay. Did you complete letter E? Can and can't? Yes. Yes. <coughs> hey, let's check it. Let's check can and can't. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we try the five. One Victor, two Jose, three Ronnie, four Juan, and five Rene. Okay, number one, I'm very hungry. I can eat everything right now. Okay, good. Okay. Eh, eh, solo, ¿cómo se pronuncia eh, eso? Ch chita. 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 Chita, así. Yes, chita. Uh, a chita can run very fast. Okay, good. Number three. Maria, Maria, can you help me? Okay. Number four. I can't do my homework. It's too difficult. And number five. A baby can't drive a car. Hey, excellent answer. Look, the five answers correct. Yes? <laughs> yeah. Hey, excellent, excellent. Ya ve, y ya casi están libres. Okay. And this one, this one was a little bit long. Tal vez este, hoy, tal vez ahorita no. Okay. We check on Monday. But. Okay. But I think it's okay, right? Ya, los temas se les ha quedado. ¿Cuándo usamos? Can, can't, do, does, WH. Yep. Yes? Yes. Okay. ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? ¿Solo falta el último ejercicio? ¿O ¿Les hace falta alguna otra unidad o lección? I don't in 100%. Hey, Victor. Excellent. You have the diploma. Mm -hmm. Finish. Yes. Finish. Uh, Juan Linares also is finished too. Okay. Yes, I finished the platform. Juan finished too. Yes. Yes. You told me. Nice job, Juan. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Good. Como vamos, Jose? Ronnie, Rene. Uh, I finished. Finish. Okay, okay, perfect. Bueno, entonces, ya saben que todavía tenemos clases, dos clases más, lunes y martes. Lunes, lunes vamos a repasar, eh, ver este último ejercicio que quedó pendiente y empezar otra vez de la uno rápidamente, viendo todos los temas y utilizándolos oralmente. Ok. 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 All right. Una, una duda. Sí, sí. Teacher. Sí, eh, sí. ¿Cuándo termina realmente el curso? Martes. 
next. Next. Martes. Ajá. El último día del mes. El último día del mes ah. termina. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. November 30th. Okay. Good night. Have a nice night. Okay. Good night, Bye. everyone. Good you too. Bye. Bye. Bye.